to get Romeo and Julieta cigars. Rich black coffee, rum, stretch out on the beach, soaking up the sun. And it's only 1,619 miles from here. Any guesses yet? I feel like you've been there before. We're talking about Cuba. Right now, Plattsburgh International Airport is considering creating a pipeline between the growing airport and the island nation. WPTZ's Allison Carey is in Plattsburgh with the details. Allison. Hi, Stephen George. So, regardless of whether traveling from the U.S. to Cuba becomes legal anytime soon, the Plattsburgh International Airport is taking steps toward having international flights. And local officials say a direct route to Cuba could be a major attraction. The president of the North Country Chamber of Commerce, Gary Douglas, recently returned from a trip to the island nation with Governor Cuomo. Considering Canadians' appetite for Caribbean travel, Douglas believes a flight to Cuba would do well here. Already, about 80% of passengers that fly out of Plattsburgh are Canadian. Uh, Cuba is the number one vacation destination at a Trudeau airport. Uh, some 600,000, some 630,000 uh, Montrealers flew from Trudeau to Cuba destinations last year, and that was up uh, over 200% since 2010. Most Canadians, when they're looking at Florida, look at Miami, so that's why. Fort Myers was our first uh, destination when we first opened for a direct flight. The Orlando one came after. We as New York citizens prefer Orlando, but we need the Canadian numbers to make it profitable. The Plattsburgh expansion project is scheduled to be complete by 2016. The $55 million project will just about triple the airport size. Live in Plattsburgh tonight, I'm Allison Carey, WPTZ News Channel 5.